Since I just did a video yesterday uh, talking about the PC performance not being amazing on this game, I thought it's only fair to uh, test out the performance optimization patch 1.3 that just launched. Uh, yesterday I did a video testing out the launch day performance in Wuchang Fallen Feathers. I probably just pronounced Wuchang wrong, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the point is um, it, it wasn't perfect. Now, there was a lot of user reviews upset about the performance as well. The developers have posted acknowledging the poor performance. Uh, if we uh, uh, look at their brief statement regarding optimization issues, uh, calling out that performance improvements and optimizations would be incoming. And then we did actually get a 1.3 patch today talking about some performance related improvements, including specifically targeting making the game run better on eight gigabyte graphics cards, which isn't even something I've focused on in my previous video. So in this video, we're gonna do a couple of things. One is uh, compare the launch day performance to patch 1.3 performance, but specifically on two graphics cards that are otherwise identical other than their VRAM capacity. I have the 5060 Ti, both the eight gigabyte and 16 gigabyte versions in the exact same model. So if there's performance differences uh, between these that are significant, we can call it uh, VRAM related. So this will be a good way to take a look at the VRAM situation uh, on the eight gigabyte cards, which again, isn't something I focused on in my launch day video. So uh, also getting some kind of testing on that. Now, uh, so the way I did this was I first unplugged my PC from the internet so it wouldn't download the 1.3 patch, and then I just ran tests on the game uh, on the launch patch. I then plugged the internet back in, uh, downloaded patch 1.3, and then ran that same set of tests. Now, interestingly, on the Ultra preset at native TSR 100% rendering resolution 1440p, I'm actually noticing significant performance improvement on the 5060 Ti 8GB uh, with, with just the patch. Actually, 43% better performance in the averages at 53 versus 37, and 33% better in the 1% lows at 36 versus 27. So initially, I was thinking, hey, they probably solved some VRAM-related issues, and I actually see VRAM allocation and per process usage uh, reporting lower now than it did previously. Uh, however, not so fast. Uh, here I'm actually looking at the launch patch um, and looking at the 5060 Ti 8GB versus its 16GB counterpart. And actually let me go back here just, just a second uh, because it, there is clearly some VRAM improvements uh, or VRAM related issues on the launch patch, but it's not as significant as the uh, uh, patch 1.3 seems to be causing in the differences. So to be clear here, now on the left we have the 8 gigabyte card, and on the right we have the 16 gigabyte card. And we're looking at the launch patch on both cards. That's what we're looking at here. And I want you to notice that when we start this run on the 8 gigabyte card on the, uh, on the launch patch, we get some stutters right at the start, and we get 1% lows at 8 FPS. Now, as things kind of load in, it seems to run a bit smoother. So in our final results, I'm not seeing a huge difference between the eight gigabyte and 16 gigabyte card on the launch patch. But it's important to note that initially when we loaded into that area and started moving, there was significant stuttering on the eight gigabyte card, but not the 16 gigabyte card on the launch patch. And this was a lot of what I saw comments about when they talked about stutters in this game was loading into a, a new zone would stutter at first and then it would clear up. And so this seems to be uh, possibly have been VRAM related on eight gigabyte cards. Now here's the patch 1.3, eight gigabyte on the left, 16 gigabyte on the right. And here I noticed that I was not getting that stuttering on the eight gigabyte card, nor on the 16 gigabyte card. But what I'm also noticing here is that performance is overall higher on both cards they're essentially tied. Remember, a couple percent difference is just run-to-run -run variance. So in other words, the performance improvement I saw uh, on the eight gigabyte card from the launch day to patch 1.3 cannot be entirely uh, attributed to VRAM related improvements, meaning something else has changed about the performance of the game on the Ultra preset that is not entirely a VRAM related change. However, uh, I'm also wanting to take a look at something which is the uh, 1080, oh, this is a typo, guys. There's a typo, I'm not gonna re-render it. This is now, this is not 1440p, this is 1080p now. 
okay? So I also checked out uh, 1080p to see if we'd be seeing the same sort of issues. Now on 1080p, uh, even on the launch patch, I was not seeing stuttering in this particular area. Again, a longer playthrough or other areas may have uh, seen it because I did see lots of reports of people having issues on eight gigabyte cards on, on 1080p on launch. Just didn't capture it here, but I am seeing improved performance uh, from the launch day patch uh, to patch 1.3. Not as dramatic as I saw at 1440p. Here I'm seeing a 21% improvement in both the averages and the 1% lows. Uh, but once again, looks like I have the uh, captions correct now. Um, but though, when looking at the launch patch from the eight gigabyte card to the 16 gigabyte card, I'm again, not seeing significant performance differences between the two, uh, meaning that the improvements that I'm seeing from patch 1.3 uh, do not seem to, again, be able to be uh, attributed entirely to just VRAM optimizations. There seems to be some other kind of optimization taking place on the Ultra preset. Now, I was trying to look to see if I could see any obvious, like, uh, differences to the graphics. Like, did they just make the graphics look worse? So feel free to try to spot that. Um, uh, when we were looking at the, you know, launch patch versus the 1.3, I didn't see anything obvious. But here... I'm also looking at patch 1.3 on both the eight, eight gigabyte and 16 gigabyte card here. And notice that once again, there's some small differences in performance that I would chalk up to, you know, run to run variants and things like that, but nothing dramatic. And in fact, on this particular run, it looked like it even favored the eight gigabyte card. So I guess what I'm saying is um, there is definitely performance improvements at the ultra preset on the patch 1.3, but it is very clearly not entirely down to VRAM related optimizations, although it appears to be partially down to VRAM related optimizations, especially on my 1440p run where we had those initial stutters. So that's certainly interesting, but I, I also was curious, is it just the ultra preset that's seeing benefits or are other presets seeing benefits? And interestingly, it seems to be the ultra preset that's seeing benefits but my medium preset testing, and I just left it to the defaults where it scales the TSR down to 67%, so this is not even full rendering resolution. I'm actually seeing virtually identical performance between the launch patch and patch 1.3. Now there's a three FPS improvement in the 1% lows, but that could just be run to run variants. But in general, I'm seeing that the uh, 5060 Ti 8 gigabyte um, on the launch patch and patch 1.3 are both averaging 75 FPS and kind of in the mid 50s in the 1% lows. So while we saw that huge improvement to the ultra settings, I'm not seeing that huge improvement to the medium preset. So interesting there. Now, I also wanted to look at um, pre-patch comparing the eight gigabyte card to the 16 gigabyte card to see if there were any meaningful differences there. Um, I'm seeing some differences, not a lot though, so I would chalk this up to not likely being VRAM related, especially since VRAM allocation and per process usage are well under eight gigabytes being reported on both cards. I'm seeing a two FPS uh, in, uh, difference for the averages and a five FPS difference in the 1% lows, which is not terribly meaningful, especially since I'm not doing like the average of three benchmark runs or something like that. So there can just be some uh, run to run variants on these things. So uh, I think that's what we're seeing here. So pre-patch, it seems like the medium preset at 1080p was okay on eight gigabyte GPUs and still is. Now on patch 1.3, I ran the same tests. So this is eight gigabytes on the left, 16 gigabytes on the right on patch 1.3, 1080p medium preset. 67% uh, internal rendering resolution, same thing. And again, I'm still seeing that the 16 gigabyte card is a couple FPS faster. It's here, we're at 77 versus 75. And the 1% lows are, um, uh, you know, 64 versus 58. It is a 10% improvement in the 1% lows. But again, there's nothing else um, uh, seeming to indicate that we're seeing VRAM related issues or anything like that. So all I can say is it seems like the medium preset wasn't having issues with VRAM uh, pre or post patch, but we're not seeing that big performance jump at 1080p medium like I saw at, on the ultra settings. I did also want to check, uh, check out 1440p on the medium preset uh, to see if that changed anything. Uh, 1440p medium preset defaulted to TSR resolution scaling all the way down at 50%, which is not great. 
Um, but it looks a little pixelated to my eye. But anyway, that, that setting that aside, we're seeing again that the launch and patch 1.3 performance on the eight gigabyte card are about the same. Uh, one FPS faster on patch 1.3 in the averages, easily down to one run, uh, to run to run variants, and the 1% lows are actually one FPS advantage to the launch patch. Again, easily down to run to run variants. So it's seeming like the medium preset is performing about the same, uh, uh, both uh, launch patch and patch 1.3 for the medium preset, right? We saw a big difference on the ultra preset, so interesting. Uh, also, I wanted to check out uh, the uh, 8 gigabyte versus 16 gigabyte situation, both pre-patch and post-patch. So with both on launch day patch, the 8 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte card at 1440p on the medium preset, 50% internal rendering resolution using TSR, uh, is really showing pretty much identical performance. Again, it's um, seeing 77 versus 76. Uh, one FPS and 1% advantage for the 16 gigabyte card and 62 and 63 uh, for uh, one FPS advantage, the eight gigabyte card. So essentially we're getting the same performance on both GPUs here. So nothing to really talk about. I also wanted to check out patch 1.3, 1440p medium preset, TSR 50%. So same kind of deal uh, here. Now, this time we're seeing a one FPS advantage to the eight gigabyte card and a few FPS advantage to the eight gigabyte card in the 1% lows. But again, that can easily be run to run variants. There's no major difference here. So really what I'm seeing is that at the medium preset, we weren't seeing uh, VRAM related issues pre-patch or post-patch and the patch has not seemed to improve performance in any meaningful way, at least in this particular test run that I'm doing here. Uh, whereas on the ultra preset, we were seeing something. Now, another thing I wanted to check out though, related to the stutters people have been talking about is whether they're the cause of uh, shader compilation. So actually let's stop right here because we just saw it. So what I'm testing here is when I install a new GPU with fresh drivers, so, uh, I, and then I start the game for the first time, it does run a shader pre-compilation step, which ideally would catch all the shader compilation so it doesn't stutter in the game. Uh, here, what I'm looking at though, is run one versus run two through the same area to check were there stutters on run one where a shader is compiling that is then now compiled. So your second run doesn't see it because this is another explanation for why people may be saying that they're seeing stutters when they first enter an area uh, that seemed to be cleared up later. And right here, I absolutely saw a stutter on the frame time graph that was not present on run two. Let's keep going and we will see a bit more of that. So again, you should really be watching the frame time graph to look for blips that aren't there in run two. It's noticeably smoother and a few of them are a little bit more dramatic uh, on the second run. So uh, again, they're not happening constantly. A shader compilation happens whenever the first time you see a particular shader in the game that wasn't pre-compiled. If I remember right, we're about to see some as we round this next bend. So as we round this next bend, boom, big stutter there, big stutter there. It's noticeable in person, not just on the frame time graph, and it's completely smooth on run two. So this game is certainly stuttering from some degree of shader compilation stutters, and I think that's part of what people are seeing here. So uh, what did we learn from this patch? Well, it certainly seems like there's some noticeable improvement to performance. On the, uh, on the patch 1.3 on at least certain presets, specifically the ultra preset. But on the medium preset, I wasn't seeing anything. Now I didn't test every single graphic settings individually to see where if we could isolate what particularly was the cause. And overall, pre-patch to post-patch, I am seeing a bit less VRAM usage being reported. Uh, for example, on patch 1.3, uh, you'll notice that even the 16 gigabyte card is generally reporting a little bit under, uh, I feel like my face is in the, in the way here. <laughs> anyway, whatever, a little bit uh, under eight gigabytes of uh, VRAM allocation and per process usage. Whereas on the launch day patch, if I go back to that, um, uh, in a similar scene, it's just uh, a little bit higher, a couple hundred megabytes higher here, but that can be all the difference to push an eight gigabyte card over the limit. So it does seem like the 
Uh, patch 1.3 has improved VRAM handling in some situations on the 8GB card and has also had some sort of other performance improvement to at least certain graphic settings or presets, but not all of them as we saw with the medium testing. Anyway, uh, like I said, there's still some additional stutter related to shader compilation that would be nice to get cleaned up. And, but at least cards that were stuttering uh, due to spilling over VRAM, some of that might be cleaned up here as well as some additional performance improvements. All right, thought it was only fair to do the follow-up uh, uh, considering the previous video was fairly critical of the performance. Um, so anyway, there is that additional information. I don't think it's still perfect performance, but there was definitely some improvements noticed and that's good to see. Hopefully they continue to patch the thing. Uh, this is probably gonna be the end of my coverage for the game, uh, but uh, you never know. Stay tuned to the channel and I hope all of you have an excellent day.